went down to the AES show, that's the Audio Engineer Society. I was just nosing around down there and uh, I came by a, a, a little exhibit booth. It was Meyer's Sound. I wandered in and they were showcasing uh, a pair of speakers that uh, dumbfounded me. It was just amazing sound and I got to talking with the guy in the booth. His name was John Meyer. He went on just turn. I was on that 70s seminar and all these guys that quit doing the stuff in the 70s was talking about how, you know, they're waiting for the next thing to happen. And I said, the next thing has happened. But I didn't tell them what it was. <laughs> the whole thing is changing again, you know, on us. It just it's is. Cool. You know, kind of stuff that we only dreamed about. Band down on the highway. Came back home raving about this to the guys in the band. They didn't believe me. So I managed to talk a couple of the guys into going and uh, hearing the stuff. Somehow, I don't know how I did it. it. You people have to experience it to get it. They don't get it. They don't believe it. It does stuff to your head. Yeah. <laughs> when they heard it, they knew what I was talking about. They were sold, and, and so from the early 80s on, we've been uh, pretty tight with John Meyer. Well, the sun went down in honey. Come up and wine. Stars were spinning dizzy. Lord, the bank kept us so busy. We forgot about the time. The years we spent on the road with the uh, the Myers PAs, um, come on, that that brought a lot of music home to a lot of folks. People joining hand in hand, where the music plays the band. Lord, they're sitting us on fire. Okay, I can remember times when we were playing a given tune and the slapback was fighting us. And uh, I can re remember other times when it was so effortless because the, the slapback was in time with us. And the, the, the Constellation system, the Myers Constellation system is, uh, I think it's gonna change music a little bit. You know, kind of like, you know, the electric guitar changed music a little bit. It, each song will be re recreating the great hall of the king of that song. <laughs> that is cool. I heard that. But they kept on dancing. Dancing now, dancing now. Well, well, come on, children. Come on, children. Come on and clap your hands. <laughs> this is going to get nuts. <laughs> well, the cool breeze come on Tuesday. Try to go one step at a time. This, this will get out of control really fast. How you design an experiment where the thing is adapting at this kind of speed? I think just imagine it. The music never stopped. It was interesting when uh, when I was uh, building my home studio. Our old friend Owsley was up there. The, the studio room was built. There are no parallel surfaces. <laughs> Where, I'm, where am I going to put the board and the playback and all that kind of stuff because uh, one, one side is going to sound different from the other. And Alza said, don't worry about that. Your brain will adjust instantly. And, uh, well, he was very intuitive. I mean, if he wasn't so uh, belligerent and difficult. <laughs> <laughs> and right most of the time <laughs> with these intuitive things. And Bear likes to be right. I mean, <laughs> Insists on it. Insists on it, right. <laughs> Another adventure, no, nothing game. But I have dreams, and what I want to do is to be able to bring that kind of, those kind of visions um, live, alive for, you know, thousands and thousands of people. Never stop, stop, never stop, no, 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 no. This, this is big fun. Is it more than, is it what you imagined? Or is it it's more. 